So, what's up everybody? I got um, this little guy in my space, y'all, and I don't like it. Y'all see him? I'm wondering if he's poisonous or not. Little big girl farmer spotted him. But I don't like that he's here. Now, I know everybody always says, Letitia, the little animals have a purpose for being there. They eat all the bugs we don't want them to eat. But guess what, y'all? I don't care about what y'all say. I don't want this sucker in my garden. Ooh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to him. Um, because you know automatically where my mind goes to. But it, but I know I've seen him before. Now he's got this red orange head, so I don't know if he's poisonous or not. But I have instructed a little big girl farmer to not look at him. He's rolling. Look, ooh, y'all. <sighs> so anyway, um, let me show y'all what I was gonna show you. What this video is supposed to be about today, um, if I can, if I can make it. <laughs> Real quick, I want to show y'all the sweet potato slips that I uh, had bought outside, and a couple of frosts have came, so they have died back. But do y'all see new growth? Cause I see new growth. So all isn't lost. If the if the roots are not frozen, if they're in water, um, you know what? You still have hope. So that was just a little experiment that I did uh, that I wanted to show you guys. Lord, there's another one. Ah, he's going up the wall. Joe, there are lizards everywhere. I don't know where he went. Let me see. I can't take it. Where did he go, y'all? Yes, baby. Little big girl farmer is just spotting them all. I don't know where he went. Oh, oh boy. Y'all, I have spotted another one. <laughs> Look at him. Lord, help us all. Lord, he's going up the tire. Now, my husband thought he was really doing something. And bought the compost out here. But he threw it in the tire. And not the trash can. He said, I have to get that out. And put it in the trash can. Bless his heart. He tried. Look at him. Look at him. Y'all see him on the top of the tire? Now he's a different color. Nah, I don't see it. He's on top of the tire with the food in it, baby. Now, you can't be grabbing my arm. I'm trying, I'm trying to, to show the people. I'm trying to spot it. Do you see it? It's really hard to see. But he's there. Why is it really hard to see? I want to see. Look right. I can't even do what I'm trying to do. You see him right there? Yes. He's after that food. So Y'all, this is something. Now I, I I normally don't leave it out like that. Like I said, my husband my husband did that thing <laughs> thinking that he really did something. But uh I usually bury it under the soil or, or some soil or some other compost He's that I have. Um, so it's, He's, you know, um, I did move. I showed y'all that I moved uh, the compost from right over here. And I know, right? They, they, they have probably made a home in our garden somewhere. And that's just the other thing. Nature is nature and it does what it wants to do. Doesn't mean I have to like it though. I wish this bird would come and swipe it, pick it up. It's probably too big for the bird, though. <laughs> but the bird is strong. The bird is strong? Yes. Yeah. So, there are the some things in the garden that is bolting yeah. as well. And I wanted to show everybody kind of those uh, people, beginner gardeners, that aren't familiar with bolting means. Um, it's when your plants are going to seed. Um, the, the season's passed. It's gotten too hot. For certain crops so um, their natural reaction is to start the process of dying off okay and um, that process though that is so um, important to us as gardeners 
um, and vital. Number one, if you want more seeds, if you want to save money because you don't have to buy those seeds for next year, um, is is the, the, the dying off process, okay? And so uh, because of that, uh, the flowers will bolt or shoot straight up. Now, this is my arugula here, and it's grown significantly, but it is starting to bolt. Can y'all see what I'm talking about? Um, it's The plants are going straight up. Do y'all see those long stems? They're going to, like they're reaching for the sky. Um, here's another example of my mustards going to seed. Do y'all see that? And there's flowers forming at the top so it's not a bad thing it just means that that's what's happening the taste of the crop also changes so sometimes people say that some crops are, are they taste more bitter than normal and um, so it's not that you can't still eat them it's just the flavor is either gonna be gone or it's gonna be really bitter so because of that um, you know, we, we, we can either let it go to seed or pull it out, or you can cut the flowers off and eat them, okay? Uh, but, but it'll eventually grow back another flower. So it's my understanding. Um, and yeah, so I just got some things that are, is going to seed and I'm gonna let it because next year I don't have to buy seeds, okay? Um, here is one a good example, and I've showed this more than one time in my garden, okay, of a plant that is going to seed, and I'm going to collect the seeds as soon as the process is over. The collards! So the collard greens are going to seed. These are Georgia collards, and obviously you can see uh, the flowers are forming, and then the pods, which are right there, are also developing and so once this plant completely dries out completely dies off I will collect the pods I will pull off every single pod that I possibly can and collect the seeds so that's that okay and then I have plenty of seeds to share and plenty of seeds for years and years to come that I don't have, you know, I don't have to worry about going to the store and buying more collard seeds because I have thousands and gazillions of them, okay? Okay, one thing I want to mention before I get off here is, <laughs> you know, it's hard to keep in your head, especially if you're a beginner gardener, and I go through this every year and still now, um, knowing off the top of my head when it, when I'm expecting a harvest or when I can harvest certain crops, like what does it look like when the the crop is at full maturity how do i know that um uh, when can i expect to harvest the crop i might have already said that but but so so instead of guessing you know we all use our phones nowadays maybe even a notebook still but writing down the maturity date all this information you can find on the back of a a seed packet okay and if you don't have the seed packets a quick google search would be great okay um knowing when to plant seeds so that you can get a harvest in time before the frost um knowing which seed crops are um frost tolerant which means you know they can handle a frost once the plants are established um they can handle a frost and you know they have great root systems the uh, little seedlings uh struggle sometimes they're not as strong um they don't have a great root system yet um it's it the roots are probably just now coming out so you can expect sometime that the frost will kill your seedlings sometimes it won't but for hardy crops like uh frost uh resistant crops like um lettuces onions um kale arugula uh, even carrots you know can deal with a frost uh, so it's it's really good to study this stuff or at least make a note of it so you know what to do there are a few resources that I use when uh, look at this deal y'all isn't that gorgeous all kinds of deal plants I need to separate um, there's a couple of things that I use to help me with this and um, so the farmer's almanac is one and uh you know the frost dates and things that are predict their predictions so they're not as accurate as 
we think they should be um, but it's a great guide but you can find all kinds of plant information Cro uh, crop information on the Farmer's Almanac website. Your local extension offices. This is a little pot with oregano and cress uh, herbs in it that I started. Um, they have great information. So check out your local extension offices. or Sometimes they're called cooperative extension offices. And they even have, like for your state, um, they even have you know, maybe even little booklets or worksheets um, that you can use to help you plan uh, your your garden and plan your crops and, and when to sow seed and, and things like that, depending on what you want to grow. Um, also, there's this app, and I've mentioned it a lot before, the, oh my gosh, that butter crunch lettuce is gorgeous. Um, the app is called From Seed to Spoon. It's a great app. It tells me what window I have to plant seeds indoors, outdoors. Uh, even the square foot gardening method is, uh, they have notes about that. Um, pest control, just all kinds of things. And it's a free app from seed to spoon. So check that out. All right. I'm going I'm to end this video right now because I'm getting kind of long. But I will come back uh, with some other things I'm excited to do um, and show you all in the garden. Thank you all so much for watching. Look at them pea sprouts. They look delicious.